In this tutorial, I would like to demonstrate Uvium gestures. One of the major goals of Uvium was to create a tool that was both visual and tactile. Uh, along those lines, I like to think of Uvium as being, of the ether of being this large piece of construction paper with little pieces of paper placed on top of it. If I were to drag my finger uh, on the piece of paper, um, all the little pieces of papers would move along with it. Uh, but if I wanted to just move the position of one of the little papers, I would kind of hold the large piece still, and then I could move one of the small pieces of paper on top on top of it. Um, and so I, I call this gesture anchoring. I, I anchor the ether, and then I'm able to move a single bubble. Uh, you know, along these lines, I've I found this gesture to be useful for uh, you know a number of things. One of the difficulties in moving from the desktop world to the touch world is to try to come up with analogous um, techniques for accessing different features. For example, um, on the desktop world, you have context menus that you can access with the right right mouse button, which is very useful. Uh, and so, in Uvium, I've accomplish that by using this anchoring technique. So I, I can anchor the ether and then I can tap on a bubble and bring up a um, relevant context menu for that bubble. Uh, also I can anchor and then drag my my finger across empty ether space and that creates a lasso follows the path of my finger. And I can use this to select multiple bubbles. And, and then I'm able to move them in concert with one another. It also um, brings up a context menu that's relevant to all of those bubbles. Uh, another thing that I can do is I can, in the calculations area, I can move cursor. So I create a calculation here very quickly. Now when I go into it, normally the cursor starts at the, the end of the equation, but I can, I can anchor and then just tap to move the, the cursor. And then I'm going to adjust the calculation. And those are the gestures of Uvium.